already have um, good strength from behind holding it up. Take it any way you want. <laughs> Take it any way you want. But uh, yeah, so I got that from behind holding it. <clears throat> so it's making it a lot easier to join the seams in the front. You know, when I do work on my cosplay projects, I don't just stick to just one glue through the whole build. Um, I'll jump around, you know, depending on what I'm doing. You know, I may work with hot glue a lot, but um, when you're doing some trim work, it really is a good idea to break out the contact cement or even the crazy glue. You know, and do your trim work, trim work with the crazy glue only because it won't ooze out from the size. You only need a little bit too, you know, and if by chance you do overdo it and it does ooze out, you can sand it really, really easy and not have a big old wet gluey mess everywhere. You know, so, you know, uh, and when you're doing major, major bends like this, like I'm doing, how I started with the contact um, cement, I went behind that on the back side and use the hot glue. The hot glue really is strong. It's very, very strong. Um, and you get a little bit of bend with it. You know, a little, a little flexibility. So it's really, really a good glue. And it's a good one two punch, you know. Alright man, Shepard, thank you man so much for the host. It is much appreciated. Much appreciated. So I'll just Take my time, go along and pinch in the crap out the middle. <laughs> Need to chop my nails down again. It's getting too long. So you see a lot better, a lot better. And once I um, shape this down a little bit with my my Dremel, the you know the scene will vanish because it's kind of it's a little bit pointy, so I want to round that off a little bit so. I'll definitely be shaping that down. But I'm going to give it a little bit of time for it to, um, to fully dry, so to speak. It should be about 30 minutes. And I will probably use my uh, mouth sander for that because there's a wide area and um, I don't want the sides of my of my Dremel dig digging extra lines into the foam. Okay. Lay this up against him. And remember, I still gotta bend this. Let's look at the bottom now. Yeah, that's right. According to the artwork. I think you can go a little bit higher if I want. 
Okay. And that's falling where it should. I have to fall a little bit higher. So if I want, I can just um, hit this with the heat gun and I can bend it a little bit more so it rises that up, which I will do. I could also um, cut a small wedge on the inside and then glue that so that will ensure that it holds that shape you know, regardless. Um, let's go ahead and hit it with the heat gun first. Once again, like I said, purposely overbending this. That way, when I let go, you know, it's supposed to fall, but it's getting in shape. And sometimes you have to do this two or three times, which is fine. You know. Remember, this whole thing is supposed to sit off of my body a little bit. I think one of the things that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to, in here, I'm going to make kind of like a bridge almost that will go from here and it will hit up against this that way it'll keep this from rocking back and forth it's gonna help to stabilize so it, or, so it will always sit off of the air plate here at a certain amount you know it would be a smart thing to do you know, let's bend this. So the next piece that I'm going to work on are going to be the wedges. And basically what I'm going to do is um, the wedges are going to be permanently attached to one side. And then probably through either Velcro, oh yeah, I'm going to do Velcro, uh, I'll make it so that it can attach to the other, other side. I can also do um, parachute clips because of the piece that's going to be on top. I can very easily do parachute clips and then um, make a channel. And that piece is going to be on top because it'll hide it. You know. That's another idea. Or even Velcro that way, too. You know what? I might do that. I might do that. I'll do it to where the um, the wedge is right up underneath here, and about maybe about that much sticking out, and I'll put some Velcro right there so it can sit on top of it, and then I have a little bit of Velcro going across here just to make sure that it sits like it's supposed to sit and it doesn't like pop up, you know. But there is going to be a scene showing because in the actual artwork you actually see a scene poking out from both sides of that top piece. 
Hey Neo, how you doing man? My mind is slacking. She over there multitasking, you know, doing her thing. I'm going to definitely, when I get a chance, I'm going to get her uh, a second monitor. She's going to need it. <laughs> Alright, so we got a little bit of a bend there. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now the sides, I can't, I can't have them close like this. They actually do blow out a bit. So. I'm thinking I'm going to um I'm gonna do a wedge cut on both sides on the lower pieces here. But um the way I'm going to do them, they're gonna have a curve to them. Down. Okay, where is my Having a hat for that. That's it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. So I'm thinking probably. Probably about here. I'll do that wedge cut. Let's just double check again. Okay, right about there. Uh, let's see. Okay, so further back. Here then, and the reason why I'm um, drawing this line in the curve is so that it helps it to bow out like this, not like that. Yeah. Let me change my blade. These blades are so freaking good. This is the first time in a day and a half. I've had to change that first blade a day and a half. That's a day and a half of cutting. Hours of cutting. back piece I'm kind of um at an impasse for the back piece right now because like I said in the actual dev team art there are no back shots at all of Calabrito and even when they did the in game stuff um, they really didn't zoom in on him when he was running he was pretty far away, so it's really, really hard to to see the bad detail. I mean, you see his his jetpacks and whatnot, you know, uh, but it's hard to zoom in and see what's going on. Now, on the artwork that um, Mr. J. Miles did, there's a split going down the back. Uh, what game are you working on, Neo? But um, I'm trying to decide whether I go ahead and go with that split down the middle. Because, if, well, if I do that 
for practical reasons, it helps me 